What's up, guys? So in this story, I'm going to tell you of an incident that happened while I was in a South Jersey prison. Okay, and um, apparently, I was having a conversation with some people there about politics. I think it was specifically about war and the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan and whether or not it was justified, how I thought about it. The conversation was between people I was cool with. Some other fucking guys apparently were listening, fucking eavesdropping in our conversation and decided to drop a note to the administration of the prison saying that I'm a terrorist. This really fucking happened. This is amazing to me. So I get fucking pulled out of the unit. I get taken to an administrative building on this prison compound that I'd never been in before. And I get let into a room and... In this room, there's like 30 COs, 30 correction officers in a circle. They formed a circle, and they told me to go in the middle. I go in the middle. I'm fucking right in the middle of all these people looking around, not knowing what the fuck it's about. I had no idea. And they told me, we're going to ask you some questions. Just shut the fuck up and answer our questions. Okay? What are your questions? And the first question they asked me was, how do you feel about George Bush? I said, what? So I answer the fucking question. They say, okay, I feel nothing about him. I don't know the fucking man. He doesn't know me. He hasn't done shit to fucking help me in my situation here. I feel nothing. How do you feel about Osama bin Laden? I was blown away now. Like, All right, you want me to answer? I was like, same. I don't give a fuck about Osama bin Laden. I don't know who the fuck he is. I have no fucking interest in either one of these people. I don't know any of them. And they're like, so how do you feel about this whole war on terror? I was like, man, I don't feel none of this. I, I, I don't even give a fuck. It's not my war, okay? I don't know these people personally. I don't give a fuck. But I see what you're leading up to. And let me just go ahead and fucking stop that shit. And I took my shirt off. And I turned around so everybody could see me in the circle that I have a big fucking cross tattooed on my back since I'm fucking 15 years old. So I showed him that and I said, there's a difference between who you're fucking suggesting that I'm affiliated with and me, okay? You're barking at the wrong fucking tree, first of all. And second of all, what you're saying sounds fucking ridiculous. And this was the, their line of questioning. And after I made it clear to them and showed them the tattoo... So like, all right, get the fuck out of here. And I left. <laughs> I went back to my uni. And I couldn't fucking believe it. And I found out who it was. It was some fucking white boy who fucking dropped a note and did this whole thing. I let it go. I let it slide. I was going home soon. I already had a parole date. Fuck this guy. <laughs> so I never, I never did anything to the guy about it. He was a punk anyway. There's no reason for me to get worked up about it. I just thought it was ridiculous. So stupid. And that's one of the most bitch-ass, cowardly things you can do to somebody in prison who you have an issue with is drop a little note, drop a fucking kite to the administration like a little bitch and say some bullshit like this trying to get me fucking jammed up. So this was a real short story, guys. I just remembered it. I thought I'd share it with you, and I hope you enjoyed it.